Hello friends, uh, back to second part of nasal cavity anatomy and pharyngeal part. Now as I left you uh, there at Evola, now here we can see the posterior coena. Now as we know, the pharyngeal wall uh, is divided into three parts. That is nasopharynx, uh, then oropharynx below, then below it we have laryngopharynx. Now just to point you, emphasize on this point again. Uh, here we have a posterior coenar because it is entry to the nasopharynx. It is a nasal cavity. It is the lateral wall of uh, nasal cavity where middle uh, wall of nasal cavity is formed by its nasal septa. And when we reach here, we can see we we saw here opening of stick and tube and various. And here we also saw adenoidal part during endoscopy. Then we left at the uvula, which is at terminal part of the soft palate that is oropharyngeal stimulus. Now uh, just imagine that uh, we inserted a nasoscope like this going here, camera pointing here and this we are now seeing the uvula. Before that we are up to posterior coena. Let's go. Now as I told you earlier we have uh, nasopharynx oropharynx, oropharynx and then laryngopharynx. Now we are entering into nasopharynx. Let's go. It is posterior coena. Now moving downwards. It's the end of nasal septa. You can see Voma. Now as we go down, we will see, we will see the uvula. It's uvula. Now uh, we can also appreciate the lingual tonsils as you can see here then going more deep we can see the dorsum of tongue there's a posterior part of tongue here we cannot see the oral cavity only the pharyngeal part of this we can see the the oropharynx now we have entered into oropharynx now looking from here forward we can see here dorsum of tongue yes circumvalid papilla uh, i hope you know um, types of papilla on the tongue now going more deep we can see here epiglottis now it is a major important structure which uh, covers the opening of trachea during swallowing uh, is epiglottis you can appreciate the anatomy of epiglottis very clearly how it is formed and how it is present at the roof of uh, glottis that is trachea now moving more below now we have esophagus. Now as we know esophagus is posterior to trachea. We have entered a trachea, posterior esophagus. As it is usually a collapsed structure and during deglutination it is opened up and the flap here as we uh, saw the, the epiglottis it gets covered. Uh, so having told that uh, the epiglottis covers the glottis during deglutination, we can appreciate its importance in uh, our day-to-day -day life. So uh, now we are looking onto larynx and larynx is basically the protection of trachea which covers, uh, protects the airway from mechanical collapsion, collapse. So, uh, when we look onto it, we can see diff, uh, certain bumps and sulcives and grooves there. Just looking on towards it, now it's a preform fossa as you can see the uh, fold of mucous membrane around the cartilage. Now, to know its importance, we, as we know we, when we see that uh, when we come to study about the uh, obstruction of some food particles in larynx that is it is mostly uh, related with the uh, obstructed food particle that is most uh, importantly in uh, western world uh, we have fish bone which gets usually obstructed here and it is very uh, threatening position for the pa patient as it obstruct here and it can go into trachea uh, producing more complications to the foreign body objects. Now, as we can see now here, we have true vocal cords. This is 
So they are the part of phonations, which are, as we produce a sound speaking, and posterior to it, you can see the posterior wall of uh, the range of oropharynx and laryngopharynx. This, as we know, pharynx is a fibromuscular tube uh, attached from below the skull base, extending to cricoid cartilage. Now we can appreciate the cartilage in this manner. You can see here the bumps. Is, they are part of a retinoid. As uh, we have a certain types of cartilage in our larynx. Uh, to name it, uh, we have a thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage. Uh, cuneiform cartilage, art arytenoid cartilage, many more and they here you can see the fold of mucus over them. They form the part of attachment of the vocal cords also and give the structural integrity. As we uh, go down below we can see false false vocal cord, it is false false word, vocal cord and these are true vocal cord. We can see now we can't go deep, it will obstruct the patient airway. Now we can see the certain the grooves there, uh, sorry, the very embroidered part that is part of a tracheal cartilaginous ring which uh, uh, prevents airway from collapsing during expiration. Now, uh, having said all about it, uh, we nearly completed the lower airway part and in fact, we can visualize the lower, uh, up. we have completed the upper respiratory part and uh, you can see it clearly very we, how the things how the simulation is giving us a real look though it's a virtual uh, simulator i hope that uh, you got a sufficient amount of knowledge which can uh, help you to understand this nasal cavity pharyngeal wall part much better and uh, Thanks for being. Goodbye.